Hey guys, Dumani here with another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. So in today's video, I will have fan art for you. If you guys have any of your own drawings, my email's down below. Send it in and I will make sure to show it for you, okay? Alright, so today's video is going to be all about EZA Janemba. As you guys know, he is the next slated EZA that should be coming to the global side of the game. A lot of people are speculating after Sunday night's maintenance, so at least he'll be announced some sort of part 2 celebration. Very, very possible. We should be getting here, him before the 4 year anniversary in June. So, uh, in this video, like I said, I want to talk about how much damage he does Rainbow Star, how well he tanks, is he worth the Rainbow Star, all that good stuff. But, before I do, let's go take a look at the unit and let's talk about what exactly what his EZA does, in case for those that people that don't know. Uh, so right now, the card is very bad. Before the EZA, it's attack and defense uh, plus 5,000, guard activated against all attacks. That's, I mean, the guard activated against all attacks is good, but attack and defense plus 5,000, he's not going to be, you know, doing a whole lot there. Now, once he... Z awakens, I'm sorry, EZA, whatever, EZAs. He goes to attack and defense plus 70%, guard activated against all attacks, a medium chance to evade enemies' attack, including super attack, and gets an additional of 40% for four turns. So he's going to be doing a lot more damage, he's going to be tanking a lot better, and he can dodge. So they did a lot to this unit. Now, the two, the, probably actually the biggest problem with it, he doesn't have a whole lot of categories, which, if you don't have the right units, then maybe this EZA is not worth it for you. So, he only has two different categories that he fits on. Uh, the mo Transformation boost, I'm not even gonna lie, on my global account, I did not pull boost, so I can't even run Transformation Team. Uh, you do have the free-to-play, you know, Golden Frieza that you can run, but it's really not optimal. Um, the other one is Movie Bosses. Now, if, you, if you're gonna have one of these categories, it's most likely gonna be Movie Bosses, so hopefully you have uh, the new Physical Broly from the movie event, or you have Turles. Otherwise, Maybe hold off on Rayman and Janemba until you pull one of those two units. They, I mean, Turles shows up on a lot of banners. He's been on a lot of banners. However, Broly he should be coming back, you know, eventually soon. So, I mean, it, it's up to you. Now, uh, let's actually go hop into... Oh, not that one. Let's go hop into an event and see if we can do anything. Uh, see how much damage this guy can actually do. What event am I going to do? I'm probably going to go run a boss rush and we'll fast forward basically him tanking and him doing damage because that's what we're ma majorly here for. So I'm going to hop into an event, grab the EZA Janemba. One thing I wanted to point out before we start this, his attack stat is actually very, very high at 18,685 and now he does have immense damage as well. So I'm actually hoping to see a lot of numbers from this unit and we, we're actually here to mostly see him tank as well. So I'm going to be letting, letting him tank a lot of hits. Is he on the first rotation? No, he is not. So I'm actually going to uh, fast forward this fight a little bit and we're going to see how much Dynamo can actually do. Okay, so this first rotation, we actually have Turles on the field, so it should be a nice hit. Let me see if he gets any additional... Oh, he does. He's going to have a lot of damage. Hopefully Cooler does... I don't think Cooler has enough damage to one-shot him himself, so we should be able to see a nice hit right here with Turles. Um, how much, so he has 302,000 attack stat, let me see how much attack stat he has, uh, for supering. 1.5 from Cooler. Cooler's such a good unit, I almost feel bad for not using him very much. 687,000, 271,000, and Janemba, I gotta look down from here for a second. Come on, Janemba. 2.1 million attack stat, how much damage? 1.6 million, we didn't even actually get to see it hit right there, so 2.1 million attack stat. It's, it's pretty good. He did double of what, he, he actually did double of what, uh, what Cooler did. So that's, I would say that's actually pretty high. Anyways, guys, I'm going to fast forward to the next attack because this is all about Janemba. We don't want to see Broly and Omega Shenron, you know, whoop some ass. So I'll be right back again. Okay, so this time I'm purposely going to put Janemba in the center slot right here. I'm kind of hoping that we don't kill Gohan with these attacks because I want to see Janemba tank a little bit. Um, but we'll see how much damage he does and how much he tanks for when Turles is not on the field because obviously that was buffing his numbers quite a bit there by 40%. So, of course, Cooler gets this additional. Yeah, Janemba's going to kill him. 1.7 million attack stat with no Turles. 330k. I'm actually curious to see how much damage this does. We have a type advantage. 18,000. And then he dodged. He just took a super with type disadvantage, but I guess that doesn't count because he has guard at all times for 18,000 damage. That's actually really, really good. I'm going to fast forward again, guys, and see what we can do. Okay, so next rotation, uh, Janemba does have shocking speed, so he's getting a lot of key links from Cooler. That's kind of why I brought Cooler because he has shocking speed as well. I'm going to take that right there just to ensure Janemba gets a super attack off. I'm kind of curious to see how much he's going to tank here. Um, I'm hoping to keep seeing big numbers from Janemba because so far I'm actually pretty impressed. 
So Cooler got hit for 71 with type disadvantage, so this Goku's not hitting very hard, as you can see. Janemba with 1.5 million attack stat again. Only 754,000, but we had 1.5 million attack stat. Let's see how much Broly does in comparison. So that was a 754,000. Broly, I think this is the one without potential 231,000. So he did he did quite a bit more than Broly did there. But, I mean, he had type disadvantage. You got to kind of expect that. But he got hit for 19k. So Janemba is freaking tanky, man. Anyways, I'm going to fast forward into our next hit. Okay, guys, we finished that phase. We are on to the Strength Kid Goku phase now. One thing that's really cool about Janemba 2 is he has metamorphos Metamorphosis. So I believe he gets 5% health back with every time he's linked with another meta. Look at our health right there. That's actually quite... Yeah, it's 5%. So that's actually quite a bit of health that we're getting back every time you link him up with a unit like that. Um, this, again, is with Turles on the field. So I'm kind of curious to see what Janemba can really do. Uh, we're going to tank all the hits with Janemba this time. Hopefully we don't kill Turles with... Uh, we don't kill Kid Goku with it. I call him Turles. Hopefully we don't kill Goku with Turles. I don't think we will. 1.6 million. Oh my gosh, we did. Dang it, Turles! I hate you! Ugh. Anyways, fast forwarding. Okay, yeah, so this should actually be a really cool hit right here. We are going up against uh, full power Goku. Uh, Janemba might get a Dokkan mode attack. I'm, maybe. I hope he does. Ugh, please. Yeah, he should. With these two right here, he definitely should. And it, 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 we're going to see some serious damage. Turles and Cooler on the field. We dodged the super attack. We're getting hit for 123. I got to get this Dokkan mode off. I want to see what our attack stack can go to here. Two, one, boom, 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 boom. We're at 422,000 attack power before the super. It's gonna do a lot. It might even one shot. Hold on, 2.9 million? Or is that what I see? 2.9 million attack stat? Greatly lowers defense too, guys, with every super attack. Ugh! Not even a critical, 4.4 million. Dude, I absolutely, I fell in love with Janemba. I am going to rainbow Janemba right now on my global account. Janemba is absolutely amazing, man. He, he dodges, he dodges super attacks. So let's recap, guys. He dodges super attacks. He guards against everything. He has 135% attack buff. Um, and his leader skill is also intelligence type key plus 90%. The only downfall with Janemba, if you do not have the Broly or the Turles to run movie bosses, I doubt you have the boo for transforming. A lot of people don't even run transforming. Actually, check my global account. I didn't have a single friend running, running transforming units. So it's definitely a downfall of, of, of Janemba that he only has two categories. But, you know, new categories are always coming out. Maybe there'll be something, you know, in the future that would actually work for the unit. Guys... Let me know in the comments if you're gonna rainbow Janemba. Let me know. like most of you guys have him because you know he's been he's been in the shop a lot. He's been around for since year one. So if you guys are a new player and you don't have Janemba, uh, they usually come out with an, a, a banner with him. So hopefully you guys have a chance of pulling him. Let me know in the comments what you guys rate the unit. I'm gonna give him a solid like eight, nine out of ten. I will actually use Janemba on my movie bosses. He's a safe unit. He dodges, recovers, all that good stuff. So I I, I love him. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the fan art. If you haven't already, hit that sub 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 subscribe button and like the video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.